All right, so here we are in Conway's life. We've got the two classes. Conway's life is the main one. My panel is where I'm drawing everything. Now, the thing I added in last time was mouse stuff. So I'm implementing mouse listener. I've imported everything that goes along with that, which are mouse listener and mouse event. And then I have mouse click, entered, exit, pressed, and released. The one that I'm looking at is just mouse release. So when I let up on the mouse, I'm going to do something. At the moment, what I'm doing here is just saying system out on the x and the y value of this event that I created. And then I'm trying to get the row and column and do something here. I also had to make sure that I added a mouse listener to the panel so that when I actually click, something actually runs code. So at the moment, when I look at this thing, I have my grid. I click here, and it says 1917. Click over here, and it freaks out. Well, that's interesting. Why did it freak out? Oh, I tried to grab a column that didn't exist. So row and column isn't going to work at the moment. What I need to do here is actually divide by the box height. Now. It's not the frame's height that I want. It's actually the panel. And I can refer to the panel by name in Conway's life. I named my panel panel. If you look up here, my panel panel. And I can get its height. And then I want this to be the number of squares. So that's actually height, not width. So if I take the height divided by the uh, number of squares I have in my height, which I believe is 20 up here. Yep. This will be how many pixels it has in that particular box. Similarly, in the column, I want to divide by panel.get width divided by the width. Now, I do have to worry a little bit about decimals as I go across, but let's take a look at this for now. So this should give me the row and column back. And then I'm basically saying, take the row and column, make it the opposite of what it was. But I'm not going to see that at the moment. What I need to do now is I actually have to tell the thing to repaint itself. The way I do that is I say frame.repaint. That special command goes through the frame and goes into every single thing inside the frame every, in every single one of its components and says, hey, you, paint yourself. And one of the things we care about happening is that the My Panel class paints itself. Uh oh, looks like I have my x and my y backwards. Apparently, I did column, then row. There we go. So that allows me to actually click and place boxes. All right, so now that I have these boxes, and that was exciting and all. One thing I have to watch out for is not going off the end. So I need to make sure that if I go past 19, so if I click a little bit too far to the right, there's a possibility that my program might throw an error. So I'm going to make sure that row and column max out at 19. I could use a couple of if statements here, but there's an easier way to do it. I can basically take the minimum of two things. So math has a special function minimum where it takes one number, comma, and a number number, and it gives you whatever the answer is back. So whichever of these two is smaller. So if I go up to 20 accidentally, because I click too far to the right, it'll hand me back 19, because between 20 and 19, 19 is smaller.
take that thing, comma 19. There we go. 